Alright, what is up you guys? And of course as always, welcome back to another Wi-Fi Bell of course. And um, yeah, today was a bit of a special shout out to Daniel, which is a long time follower on my channel, who, which asked me to use Fallings. And I've been trying to use Fallings before with some mixed success, but um, for what it's worth, I'm clearly feeling that this could be really fun to try out again. Um, now my opponent here, the Ashman, is actually bringing Mel Metal, which is kind of scary. However, he is susceptible to Toxic Spice besides Gengar, and I'm not scared of Grimmsnarl because I have Defog on a Pheasant, which I forgot to nickname, which is wonderful. And actually, a Sword Stance variant of Steel by the Ice, which will be useless for this battle. And uh, Dynamo could actually lock in Mel Metal, which will be really nice. But I'm feeling I'm gonna lead off with um, Krogal. You just to get some really easy lead wave with um, getting my Toxic Spikes up. Um, also, a flip turn, so even if Grim Snarl is his lead, um, and if he decides to force switch into Mel Metal, we can actually switch out of that situation. Um, I really hope it does lead off with Mel Metal because it's very hard, if not impossible, to switch into. Brings out Pokemon World, yeah. So my best bet here is to go for Toxic Spice. I believe Mel Metal is his easiest switching he's ever made. Um, come on, buddy. You don't like this. You definitely don't like this. False Surrender, huh. I, I won't deny it, I'm surprised by that play. I'm really surprised by that play. I I'll figure one switch out versus this. Hmm. Also, can we just agree on that it's wonderful to see all these hackmons? <laughs> right, play roughs, neutral damage. Um, I'm not that defensive, which clearly is shown here, but Sludge Boy should do a lot of damage even though he's uninvested. Yeah, ooh, wow, yeah, mm. Exactly. <laughs> I have no idea what he was trying to do, but Sludge Wave was clearly enough. <laughs> wow. Okay. So, with that said, yeah, Gengar is the absolute easy play to get rid of the rocks. Or stealth rocks. No, toxic spikes. Um, do I have a switch in versus Gengar naturally? I mean, yeah. Shadow Ball doesn't do, like, insane amount of damage. I, in theory, actually think I can survive even a hit from him. So, because what could it do? Shadow won't knock me out. No way. Should I try to knock him out? Yeah, I think so. Let's see, Shadow Ball, like I said, I don't think this was gonna knock me out, buddy. Yeah, we take that. We take that, Drogology just bringing in the pain. But, is it sashed? Oh yes, of course it is. It's not the end of the world, however, the question is whether or not I sack play here. Let's see his team again. Will I ever be able to set up Toxic Spikes? I mean, not really, right? I go for a flip turn here in case it's being cheeky, but yeah, this is a sack play. Oh, Destiny Bond. You know what? You know what? I am fine with this. I have no idea why he did that, but uh, for what it's worth, I'll take it. <laughs> it's not the weirdest play, it's just... I don't believe there was a reason to make it, right? Um, so now I think Surfetch comes in, so I gotta send in Demonio. Um, Surfetch is such an easy type of mid-game play. Or it brings in Mel Metal. No, Surfage. We got it. The thing is, though, I don't beat Surfage. But I can protect and get some damage onto him. Hmm. What would he go for? Like, I need every ship I can get. I think first impression is to, like the easy play. Leaf Blade. Huh. Not first impression. That's kind of up there. I can do Leaf Blade. 
I have no way of switching this Pokemon whatsoever. Uh, but if it keeps going for Leaf Blade, I think I can actually... I think Close Combat would have been the stronger play, but... Uh, since we don't need to worry about... Like, I need into Close Combat here. Straight out. Goes for Leaf Blade. Absolute Mad Lad. Um, and we U-turn from here. That's a crit? Cool. Because I believe he shouldn't sack play his Pokemon. He should try to get in his Mel Metal. And basically that's my play too. Switches out. Bring in the Mel Metal. Lycanroc. What a what an absolute beast. <laughs> okay. Let's get th good damage onto that one. Now we have a Pokemon that clearly carries Accelerock and actually do destroy me naturally. Do I want to go for no retreats here? I mean, Close Combat is such a huge play. He could carry Saki Fangs. But overall, I lose very little by no retreating. Oh, close combat. I think it's gonna switch out. Probably go to Charizard. Let's see. Send me Charizard. That's the wrong mon, buddy. Okay. <laughs> so we should do fair damage. I mean, it's not perfect. But, um. Like, I won't deny it. Like, I'm, I'm surprised by that play. Um, but me at minus one is not necessarily the best thing to be at. So switching out. And I'm thinking he could be banded and go for a close combat here. Just straight up knock me out. Braybird. Ooh, that's kind of scary. Will it knock me out? No. But I sure as hell won't be able to. You know, I'm scarfed. I don't need to worry about this. <laughs> So I don't think it's bad. I think it's Assault Vest or Choice Scoff. Um, either way, I think he's locked, considering the way he was playing before. And Bray Bird is not necessarily the worst thing that happened to me. And Lycan Rock is kind of waste of this, so I feel I could go for a cheeky flame charge play. A throat chop, he's not locked. That's that's me being dumb. That is a significant chunk too. So, uh, yeah, we multi attack here. I, I'm lost for words. At least we have speeds. So we're gonna absolutely knock him out. But right now, I have two big issues. Issue number one: Charizard outspeeds me, and uh, it's not easy to switch into. Issue number two is Lycanroc, Rock, which absolutely outspeeds me too. And Accelerock is such a big deal for me. Um, because I don't switch into this at all well. Um, however, I don't have a need for this Pokemon at, at all, so I, I multi-attack here, trying to stomach uh, Celerock, which I shouldn't. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> yeah, I don't think that crit matter, I just, oof, just a beast move. Um, now. Hmm, 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 hmm. Like, I don't need Amphesant, but at the same time, Amphesant is kind of nice for the end game. Um, so, bring in Legion and. Uh, I mean, we close combat here every time. There's no reason going for a noted retreat. Or if there were a reason, I'm surely not seeing it. Because I need damage on everything that potentially comes in. Right, so he does decide to sack it. That's, like, this is a more of a defensive fallings, but still, that's actually surprisingly little damage. Now, the issue that falls before me. It is Charizard. It's every time going to be Charizard. Because Hurricane or Max Airstream, depending on how my opponent want to tackle this, absolutely beats me. Um... I don't believe I have a safe switch in at all. I have sack place. Um, 
which I probably could capitalize on, consider that I absolutely will lose this Pokemon whatsoever. Um, I need a really good lead way. Come on, buddy. Air Slash. So that's both good and bad. It's good because it's Air Slash. <laughs> so, um, it's bad because it's Air Slash too. Uh, because the good thing about um, Sharpedo here is um, that I could easily go for Protect, get my speed up, and even if, let's say, Mel Metal comes in, um, I still have a close combat to kind of break it. Uh, solar Beam, okay. Is it Power Herb Solar Beam? It should be heavy. Oh, it's oh, wait, this is some tech. This is some tech though. Okay, okay, we got this. We got this. We got this. Should I say it one more time? I'm trying to convince myself I got this. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Because I am not taking a max grass from him. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Game plan, game plan. The only positive merit I have right now, besides being knocked out by that solar beam, is that I can max my um, potential Magnuson to be able to parry him back. At least I'll get the liquidation off, which is going to be phenomenal. Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Um, max overgrowth. Um, I mean, it's unfortunate, but it's not the end of the world, even though it will absolutely kill me. But I really, really hope that um, my Magnus Zone can kind of push through somehow, of course. Um, because, like, that Scarf on Fessen would be just about every type of knight right now. But he doesn't have the sun up on his field, which means that uh, his solar or max flare should not be boosted. So, um, and I should get off my electric terrain with this max lightning. And then just hope I'm faster than Mellow Metal, right? That's, that's the play. That's all I got. Uh, maximize as much as possible my damage output. That is if I can survive this max flare. Which, I won't deny it, I am very unsure if I do. But this is like the best bet I got. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Magnuson. Oh, he is in the zone. But yeah. I should definitely max evolve my, or Dynamax my, um, Sharpedo knowing this was very likely to happen. That said though, this is like not over. Um, Mellow Metal has a small chance of being faster as I am not invested here. And I took away the terrain to make sure that I maximize my damage. So, that said, if everything goes south, I really gonna hope on that no retreat to be able to save me but it's still a Mellow Metal, which means probably not. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Be faster. Be faster. Be faster. Make it happen. I'm so nervous. Come on, 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 come on. Come on, make the call, buddy. Make the call. Click or quick. See if you manage to live. I feel like my I'm not an elite boost either. I am just a shed shell variant. We are faster. This is gonna absolutely eat Mel Metal up. Oh no! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Okay. It's still it was with all the boost in mind. This is clearly an assault of this variant for sure. Um, still though, we have fallings. We're still in this. And quite frankly, I just need to go for that close combat and we should be game. Oh, but damn, was this a rough game. It came down through wire. Had he not Dynamax, I'm pretty not sure like, who of us would have potentially have won. 
but um, I'll take it. I think it was wonderful. And um, in reality, I really, really wanted to have that no retreat going, but for what it's worth, we get a win here, and uh, that should be all that matters, right? <laughs> So GG to my opponent, the Ash Master, and um, yeah, we're the Ash Man, close enough, right? Six to nine. <laughs> and uh, yeah, really, GG, my buddy, really great game. Um, and uh, you know, as always, you know, you know, you don't have maximum mass, but goddamn, is it just, it's a, such a twister in this meta, it really is. So for everyone watching, thank you for doing just so. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day, everyone.